Guys, this is uh, another part of uh, explanation of the Gogan gas pedal. And uh, this is really kind of techy and nerdy, so if you don't have time, just turn off your YouTube or wherever you're watching it right now. But we're going to try and explain technically why this works. Okay. Let's first talk about old school technique, which is the neutral technique, and I can't do it with this, but basically what you're trying to do is resisting the flip of the gun by compressing this way, letting the gun come up. But your thumb is not in there, so the only way that you can get this pressure or this friction is by squeezing these arms together. And what that does is it requires a very complex series of shoulder muscles, elbow muscles, forearm, hand, wrist, and it requires a stance. Now, to top things off, when you're in this neutral position, and we're all talking about it with the old school right now, when you're in that neutral position, what is resisting flip? It's a little tendon right in here called the flexor carpi ulnaris. It's a tiny little tendon. It was never meant to do very much, but somehow we've got it that that's what's going to resist that. Now, you get the gas pedal in here with the opposable grip. You've got the muscle of the uh, flexor of the thumb, the longest and the brevis, and here is the real key. You maintain your wrist strength because the wrist is in a true neutral position. Now many of you have heard of the so-called neutral grip, but the neutral grip is not really neutral in the, in the wrist. The wrist is actually in this position, which is what we call ulnar deviation. As physicians, we know that ulnar deviation weakens the grip. And any doctor that sets a fracture will go to great pains to make sure that that hand is in what we call the position of function, which is much stronger. If you were to grip with your hand about as strong as you can, most people in their left hand are going to be around 100 pounds. You take their thumb out of it so that they're gripping without the thumb, it's going to be around 30 pounds. You've lost 70% of your grip strength. You put your hand here in this cam forward position, you're down to about 15%. With the gas pedal, your wrist is in neutral position, which puts your hand grip right back up to 100%. But here's the beautiful thing. Besides having 100% of your grip strength available, you've got leverage.